Do you want to learn how to color pencils over pastels? Today, I'm sharing my top five steps for coloring these two lovely art mediums together. And watch to the end for some bonus tips. For anyone who's new here, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my art studio. Okay, step one. Color in pastels first. They will block in colors on the paper and work as a type of underpainting. This is the foundation of color that you will build on. Here, I'm using pan pastels. They're blendable, erasable, and play well with colored pencils. I'll list all the colors I'm using in the video description, but here you can see I'm blending brown and red to fill in the skin tone. You don't need a lot of pigment. Just a light layer of color will be a nice start. Step two. Fill in shadows with colored pencils, but be careful. Don't go too dark too fast. We're going to layer colors, so you don't want to fill all the tooth or texture of the paper right away. Blocking in the shadows will give you a great sense of the lighting and give the image volume. Here, I'm using Prismacolor pencils. They blend very well with pan pastels. All the art tools I'm using today will be listed in the video description. Also, before I forget, be sure to tap that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the pastel and pencil combination. Step 3. Fill in the rest of the surface area with color pencils. Remember, the exact colors I'm using are listed in the video description, but I will say that the way you apply pencil matters. For a nice smooth blending where you don't see pencil lines, apply color in small circles. This is very useful for smooth looking skin tones. If you're not sure how colors will look when they blend together, it is absolutely okay to test them on scrap paper first. Step four, add another layer of color with pencils. This is why you don't press down hard with that first layer of color. This new layer will give you beautiful color saturation and another opportunity to smoothly blend colors together. As you get to the lighter colored pencils in your color palette, you can press a bit harder on the paper to blend all of these layers of color together. Step 5. Use white colored pencil for the brightest highlights. We already pushed those shadows. The white pencil will push the lightest areas. This will give you a great contrast between the dark and light and help make your image stand out and look a bit more three-dimensional. Remember, apply the white pencil in small circles for smooth blending and transition in areas like the skin tone. If you want to color along with me, which would be fabulous, this coloring page is available to download. I'll put its direct link in the video description for you. Also, if you want to learn more coloring tips, go check out my playlist, How to Color Like a Pro. Okay, you can repeat these steps in every area of the page. For areas where you want texture, such as hair, Apply the colored pencil in dashes or lines. This will let you build up the colors, blend them all together, all while getting that great texture. Now for the bonus tip. So we're using a lot of art mediums and many layers of color. That means we need heavy, thick paper. That way the paper won't tear and it can survive all this coloring that we're doing. Here, I'm using a Huhu mixed media paper. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. And as always, stay creative.